What's up, guys? Um, another episode, Hooks Cooks. And today I am going to be making a classic minute rice pudding. Um, I was actually sitting around the house. Uh, I don't have very many groceries and I was hungry and I got a major sweet tooth. So I was thinking, what the heck can I make with ingredients I already have in my house? And I actually love rice pudding. Looked up a couple recipes and they took forever. And then realized I'm using minute rice. So looked up a special uh, minute rice recipe that actually comes from this company, the Minute People. So, uh, so yeah, uh, ingredients, I'll go over this. We're gonna be using uh, three cups of milk, obviously. We're gonna need some minute rice, one cup of this. We're going to use a fourth a cup of sugar. What else we got? Uh, it says raisins. I don't have raisins, don't need raisins. Uh, a little bit of salt, two eggs, uh, a little vanilla extract. Found this in the, in the way, way back of my cabinet. Apparently this stuff lasts forever. All right, so I got that and some ground cinnamon. So those are the ingredients. Uh, prep doesn't take long, so I didn't really uh, need to do that before I started filming. Although I did realize today that these little glasses hold about half a cup. And I tried to put a whole cup of rice in one of these and just spilled rice all over the floor. So. Now, I just split it up between two, just because I like these little clear bowls, so I'm going to use them. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Um, three cups of milk. Oh, I got rice in here. All right. Now, hopefully... So we have the three cups of milk. Uh, I already have my rice. And let's see what this says. All right, we're gonna combine the milk, the sugar, and the rice. Um, and the salt into a saucepan. So I'm just gonna put it all in here real quick and then I'll throw it in the pan uh, in a second. But here is my fourth cup of sugar. I'm sure you can do this with some type of sweetener if you're one of those kind of people. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this rice in. Sink. And the salt, this is a fourth of a tablespoon. Let me make sure I got that right fourth of a teaspoon. So basically, almost nothing. Um, yeah, just sprinkle a little salt in there. I'm gonna transfer this into a saucepan. Pour that all in. Okay. Problemo. A lot of the sugar is um, stuck in here, so. Um, and Lord knows I need my sugar. So I'm just gonna make sure to get that out of there. So, for any of you guys that are making this at home, you can not be stupid and just skip the whole part where you put milk in a container. 
When I was little, I actually used to just put sugar in my milk and um, and drink it because why not, right? So let me put this over here. I'm going to hold that. So while the rice is heating up. I am going to I gotta crack a couple eggs. Get that in there. Now it's the eggs and the vanilla extract. Now the next step is going to be to, so I actually read a few comments and they tell you to make sure you don't mess this part up, but the next part is once the rice pudding over there starts to get to the consistency I want, I'm going to take some of that and pour it in here enough to warm up the eggs and I keep stirring and then I'm going to pour this solution back into the heated solution while it's on very low. Uh, I guess it's tricky because if you mess it up, you end up cooking your eggs in the pan and then you have rice pudding with scrambled eggs mixed in, which is definitely not what we want. So, so here we got my mixture. says to constantly stir I'm impatient so I'm gonna turn this up a little bit till we get to a little boil and um, then we'll come right back all right so you guys almost missed it Ugh. I got it to a boil and then um, started foaming up real big and almost spilled out but I saved it um, so now after it got to a boil I've reduced it. it says medium low so I guess I'll put it right there in the middle on a three and uh, so I don't know whether it's supposed to get this foamy but it's hella foamy right now so it says keep stirring. Uh, I got about six six minutes of this. And then we're gonna try and incorporate the egg mix into it and see if I can uh, not screw the pooch on that. So here's the thing. It says stir constantly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep stirring these eggs with one hand and I'm gonna scoop and I'm gonna put some of this in there. So. Scoop. Pour a little bit of this in here. I'm gonna try to do another one too. Now I don't know how much of this I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put one more scoop. Just wanna make sure I don't I don't mess this up. Keep on stirring. Now I really don't want these eggs to cook in here, so I'm just taking this off the heat now. Because if I end up with scrambled eggs and rice milk, I'm not going to be happy.
Now I'm gonna add this mixture oh, in and let's see what we got. see no eggs cooking we don't have no scrambled eggs which is good so I'm move it right back over here oven's still a little hot I feel like that'll be plenty of heat just keep stirring until it thickens up all right the next step is to just take off heat and Let's sit. I'll move this room over here. Give you guys a better view. So this is what we got. I'm gonna let that hang out for 30 minutes. Um, and then come back for the taste test. You know, after we add a little, a little cinnamon. Always gotta make it look pretty. But all right. For me, it's gonna be a lifetime. For you guys, it's gonna be a split second. What's up guys? I can't really tell how close or zoomed in this thing is, so bear with me if you're all up in my nose. Uh, so I waited 30 minutes and the, the rice pudding was still pretty runny uh, for my taste. I like it like thick and custardy. So uh, I Googled how to fix that. And so I have it in the fridge now. Ugh. See that? So um, just hoping it, it thickens up here uh, for a little bit, and then then I can do my taste test because I'm I'm pretty pretty hungry right now, and I gotta go to the gym soon, and that's gonna be my fuel. I'm gonna I'm gonna work out. Uh, with only rice pudding in my belly. Can you see my belly? So in this part of the video, as you can see, I forgot to turn my microphone on. So let's just see if I can remember what I was thinking. Damn, this is runny as fuck. This doesn't even look like rice pudding. Maybe if I keep stirring, It'll get better. Sure hope it tastes good. Because I used a lot of milk. I could have made like three to four bowls of cereal with that. Instead of wasting it on this failed recipe. Still going to keep stirring. Still talking. Mic's still off. Um, put it in this little cool cup. Sprinkled some cinnamon on it. I mean, it looks decent. All right. Let me see. Let me dig on in here. Oh, mm. oh this is pretty good. Um, little runny, but uh, the taste is there. Yeah, I was, I was a little disappointed um, in this. As you can see, I'm hungry, so I still eat it. Like, none of this is going to waste. But, definitely super runny. It was more like rice cereal um, than pudding. But, I mean, it's just milk, sugar, and vanilla. So, of course, it still tasted good. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm doing a lot of talking. Like, there's really not much to say. Um, where I went wrong, I'm pretty sure I, I barely cooked it. Because I was so worried about the eggs, um, cooking, like scrambled eggs in the, in the pudding. So, I, I lowered the heat and then I took it off the heat really quick. 
The recipe said to cook it for one minute after you put the eggs on. So in my head, I was like, all right, well, I got to take this off quick. But the recipe was wrong and stupid. Oh, I'm walking away now. Um, I think I'm going to pick up the camera. Oh, wait, no. I'm fixing the mic. So, funny story. I just recorded a whole bunch of stuff with no audio on. But I'm probably still going to use it and do a little voiceover. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, it's runny as hell, but it still tastes really good. So, I'm definitely gonna try again in the future to get the consistency right. But for now, it's all good. A little runny rice pudding never killed anybody.